Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about leave in the British Army, of which you get quite a lot of it. And I'm going to give you some forms of leave that will increase your leave total exponentially, essentially, depending how much you get away or carry over onto the next year or pull across back to you from the next year's leave allowance as well. So, essentially you get 38 days leave per year. If you don't use those days, all those 38 days, you can carry over 15 onto your next year's allowance. So essentially you end up with 53 next year. But if you say you don't use 20 days leave from the one year, then the army will ask you why, because they want you to go on leave, they need you to have downtime, certainly for mental health. So you may have to write an email and it might just be as simple as you've been on tour. Been on tour and you've had lots of post-operational tour leave, which is the next type of leave that you can have. And from that, what you've got is one day's leave for every nine days that you do on tour. So generally after the six month tour, you could have anything up to around five weeks pottle and you still got your individual leave allowance from that as well. If however, you have used all of your 38 days leave and you want another couple of days leave, before the April, when you get your New Year leave allowance, you can pull across anything up to 10 days as long as you leave yourself with 28 days on the next year. So that's no problem whatsoever. So essentially you can use 48 days one year, but you'll only have 28 days the next year. If you are with a partner in the military and you're married, you can also transfer leave to them as well. So if you end up with lots of leave because you've been on tour, for instance, and you're just using up your pottle, and they've been using a lot of leave to go and see family while you've been away and you wanna go on a long holiday, you can give her some of your individual leave allowance while you use your post-operational tour leave allowance so you can give anything up to 10 days to your partner or you can give them 15 days if you've been out of bed so if you haven't been home for 180 days out of a 365 day period now so that generally wraps up leave in a nutshell for an individual and a partner now i'm going to move on to what happens if you have a child? Right, maternity leave. You're entitled to, or you can have 52 weeks maternity leave. 39 weeks of that will be your statutory maternity pay that everyone gets paid exactly the same. 26 weeks of that will be full pay by the British Army. So you could have 26 weeks of full pay by the British Army, 13 weeks then of pay just statutory maternity pay which the government has ruled every business has to pay and then perhaps then of the other 13 weeks you might not get paid at all from those 52 weeks but if you have other leave you can just throw that in anyway so you might be able to make up those 52 weeks if possible with some form of pay then you have paternity for the fathers you are entitled to two weeks paternity but you can take them in two one week blocks. So I've had that twice now, so I've got two kids, but I took them two weeks all at once. Now, what you can also get, however, is parental leave. Now, parental leave is, you're entitled to 18 weeks per child up to the age of 18 with a maximum of four weeks of those 18 weeks unpaid leave per year to be taken. So essentially, you got, if you have two children, you could essentially take two weeks unpaid leave per year, 
but only to a maximum of 18 weeks. So if you do it in sixes, uh, in fours, two fours, or eight, then you're not gonna have a lot because you'll get up to 36 weeks if you have two children. So you're not gonna be able to take four weeks per year off. It's only gonna have to be every now and again, but it is unpaid. So be careful with that if you do go for it. Uh, and then if you're with a spouse in the military, you can also share your parental leave as well. So perhaps the 39 weeks of statutory maternity pay, she could go back to work and you could take that if perhaps she's making more money than you in the army or she's a higher rank um, than you in the army. So that's essentially it when, when it comes to leave. There's lots of ways to get more leave and of course you can bring leave from your leave card in the future back to you if you need more leave and you can carry a lot over for the next year but if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and i always get back to you take care bye